I mean, I was God, but I wasn't really godding, you know? <laughs> I wasn't creating or destroying or judging anybody, Ian, which is something I always wanted to try. Then I thought, let me take a brief break from eternity and devote the better part of a week to creating a universe and, I don't know, just kind of see what happens. <laughs> And last time ever, I actually answered a prayer. Well, it was more of a question, really. Lord, why do bad things happen to good people? The answer to even out the good things that happen to bad people, duh. <laughs> doesn't mean I know everything, it means I'm capable of knowing everything, but can choose not to, which I usually do. I prefer to give myself knowledge on a need-to-know basis. Do you remember back in 1980 when everybody wanted to know who shot JR? Well, I am the Lord thy God, King of the Universe. I could have easily found out who shot JR. I could have attended the producer's meetings, got an advanced copy of the script, sat in on one of the table reads, but I didn't. I stayed deliberately ignorant until the night of the airing because I had Dallas fever. <laughs> yeah. Then it turned out to be his mistress slash sister-in-law. I don't know, a bit of a letdown, I thought. The sixth sense, though, that I did not see coming. <laughs> and I see dead people constantly. I was with Thomas Jefferson when he drafted the Declaration of Independence. He said, Lord. I said, yes. He said, is it OK that I write, all men are created equal. They are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, among them life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I said, Tommy, how do you come up with this crap? <laughs> but whatever works. Look, there are over 200 nations on Earth, and every single one of them is under me, whether they say it in their pledge or not. So that's it. Go tell your money to trust someone else. I'm done blessing you. I admit, I have recently been enjoying dropping into the brains of certain right-wing politicians and telling them to run for president. But that's not by way of blessing you, that's by way of amusing me. <laughs> but one thing I definitely am is a brand. I am an established, well-respected brand, okay? So when I see some backup wide receiver from dipshit university on SportsCenter point to me after scoring a touchdown, it cheapens the brand. Like, th 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 this one's very simple. I'm not with you when your team wins. I'm not against you when your team loses. I'm not with or against you when you win or lose. I, okay, I am not a Dodger or a Laker or a Clipper or, or I'm definitely not a Ram. You just heard what I do to Rams. <laughs> yeah. I don't guide the ball between the uprights or into the basket or out of the stadium or into your opponent's crotch. Okay, you won the game, congratulations. Your Super Bowl MVP, Mazel Tov. World Cup champion, Gluckvinch. But leave me out of it, okay, because your piety, or lack thereof, either as an athlete, a team, or a fan base, is meaningless to me. I don't influence the outcome of sporting events to affect the winner, are we clear? I only, on extremely rare occasions, influence the outcome of a sporting event to affect the spread. I, I can say with no ambivalence, leave me out of sports. I can say with some ambivalence, leave me out of showbiz. Kanye, okay? The next time you win a Grammy and you want to thank me for your God-given talents, they're going to get God-taken, understand? 
Matthew McConaughey, you won an Oscar. You talked me up big time. I know you think you're tight with me because of all the times you thought you saw me when you were high, but we're not. <laughs> okay? I don't help anyone act better. I don't help anyone sing better. I don't exert any pull into getting your homemade demo tape onto Tommy Mottola's desk. It's not how I roll. But a lot of celebrities seem to think I do. I understand. I understand celebrities. That's why I said I had some ambivalence. You see, celebrities are my chosen people. <laughs> I know the Jews are also my chosen people, but uh, there's a lot of overlap. <laughs>